Hi, good morning, everyone. Um, sorry for the delay. Uh, apparently, live doesn't work with Chrome anymore. So just an FYI to you parents in case you guys are doing anything on Facebook Live. So we're going to start with our hello song today. Get our hand up. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Let's do it one more time. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. And let me shut my window a little bit. Give me one minute. There we go. It's a little less bright. All right. I think that's as good as it gets today. I'm using a different computer. So it's what happens. <laughs> it isn't always perfect and that's okay, right? Good morning, Danica. So we're gonna go next with Hands Are For Clapping by Jim Gill. All right, so we'll start clapping. Hands are for clapping, clapping to this song. Hands are for clapping, let's all clap along. You can't snap, then just snap wiggle them. Or you can try to do both. Teeth are for brushing. Teeth are for brushing. Brushing. Can we have our toothbrushes? Teeth are for brushing. Let's all brush along. Ready? Is the volume low on the music or is the volume low of me? So I can definitely turn up the music a little bit more. So how do I sound? Do I sound better? 
or is it just the music? All right, we'll keep going till we hear music. Okay, I can turn it up. All right. Next, we're gonna do our bumping up and down in my little red wagon song. And I thought we could talk about the things that we're gonna fix uh, when we have our little, so it starts with bumping up and down in my little red wagon and then one wheels off and the axle's broken. And then I ask if people wanna fix it with certain tools. So I've been using a lot of tools this week. Uh, we've been building some stairs in our backyard and so I wanted to show you, in case you haven't seen, what some of these tools look like. So here we go. We can fix it with the hammer. We can fix it with the screwdriver. And then we can fix it with the wrench. So we can make this movement with the wrench. We can make this movement with the hammer. And we can make this movement with the screwdriver. All right, so find a lap and we'll do bumping up and down in my little red way. Sometimes, depending on the weather, a ukulele needs tuning. See, and I can see on my little meter, it tells me. That sounds better. All right, back in, bumping up and down. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? All right, ready? One wheel's off and the axle's broken. 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 Won't you be my darling? Right, who wants to fix it? Let's check the comments. All right, Danica's gonna fix it with the hammer. All right, get our hammers out. Danica's gonna fix it with her hammer. Danica's gonna fix it with her hammer. Danica's gonna fix it with her hammer. Won't you be my darling? All right, anybody else wanna fix it? All right, how about I'm gonna fix it with the wrench? Jessica's gonna fix it with her wrench. Jessica's gonna fix it with her wrench. Jessica's gonna fix it with her wrench. Won't you be my darling? All right, and then last time, if everybody needs to do the screwdriver, so if my friend Haley's here, she's gonna fix it with the screwdriver. Haley's gonna fix it with the screwdriver. Haley's gonna fix it with the screwdriver. Haley's gonna fix it with the screwdriver. Won't you be my darling? All right, it's fixed. Let's go back. Drop it on the wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling?
So to add a little spice to our mouse house game, I hid the mouse behind one of these numbers. So you can have to guess which number you think I hid it behind. So we have number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. So number one is the color blue. And so is number two. Number three is the color green. Number four is the color pink. And number five is the color orange. So what, what number should I pull first? Let's see. What do you guys think? Is it one? Is it two? Is it three? Is it four? Or is it five? Hmm. Danica says five. All right, let's see. Nope, not under number five. I'm going to guess the number. Oh, I got a number. Kalyani, number one. Nope, not under number one. Anybody else want to give a guess? Malcolm, he's my cat up here. He says number two. So let's see. Not under number two. All right, it's between number three and number four. All right, number four. Ta-da! You were right. Good guess. So now we're going to pretend we're going to the zoo and I have my binoculars right here. I made them out of two toilet paper rolls and an elastic. All right, we're going to pretend we're going to the zoo and we're going to see a bunch of animals and I'll teach you some sign language for the animals. So let's see. Looking at the zoo. Who, who, who are we going to see at the zoo first? this the zebra apparently I learned a fun fact today that if you don't point to the words when you're um, you know introducing them that kids mostly focus on the pictures so you've got to kind of give them a little uh, signifier to they have to focus on the text as well and this especially for picture books you know because they are so pretty um, and beautiful. You, you kind of do focus in on the pictures. So zebra. So the sign language for zebra, because he has stripes, is zebra. This one's easy to remember, right? All right, now let's see who else we're going to see at the zoo. Do you have any guesses? All right, let's put up my binoculars. And if you don't have toilet paper rolls, you can use your hands. All right, who, who, who is at the zoo? Aww. It's a mama rhino and her baby rhinos. So the sign language for rhino is you take your thumb and your pinky and you put it to your nose because they have a horn. Rhino. There it is. <laughs> All right, next, who, who, who is at the zoo? It's the seal. Seal. So seals, we're going to pretend like we have a seal flipper. So we're going to take our two hands, and then we're going to clap them backwards like that. So that's sign language for seal. 
pretty cool. Who, who, who is at the zoo? Ooh, tiger. Rawr. So tigers have whiskers. See the whiskers? Just like house cats. So the sign language for tiger is this, tiger. Like we're combing our whiskers. All right, let's go again. Who, who, who is at the zoo? I see a hippos. Now see hippos large mouth right here. So a hippo in sign language is you take your thumb and your pinky and you put them together and we're going to pretend like we have a hippo mouth. So we go like this. Ah, hippo. All right, let's look for one more. Who, who, who is at the zoo? Bat. Buh, 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 bat. All right, so bats have wings. And so the sign language for bats is this. Yeah. So you like wings spread out, go like this. So a little sign language for you. All right, let's stand up and do a song. It's called, Hi, My Name is Joe. All right, so you say, hi, my name is Joe. I have three kids and I work in a button factory. One day my boss says, Joe, are you busy? I said, no. So he said, press this button with your right hand. All right, so I'm gonna press the button. Ready? Hi, my name is Joe. I have three kids and I work in the button factory. One day my boss says, Joe, are you busy? I said, well, no, I've still got, you know, like I've got some time. And he said, press this button with your left hand. All right, so we got two buttons going. Hi, my name is Joe. I have three kids and I work in a button factory. One day, my boss says, Joe, are you busy? I said, mm, no, okay, Um, <laughs> what, what, what do you need? And he said, press this button with your right foot. All right, so we got three buttons going. Hi, my name is Joe. I have three kids and I work in a button factory. One day, my boss says, Joe, are you busy? I said, well, no, what, what do you need? And he said, press this button with your left foot. All right, so we've got both feet and both hands. Hi, my name is Joe. I have three kids and I work in a button factory. One day, my boss says, Joe, are you busy? I said, well, no. And he said, press this button with your head. All right, so we've got our two hands going, we've got our two feet going, and then we've got our head. Okay, you ready? Hi, my name is Joe. I have three kids, and I work in a button factory. One day, my boss says, Joe, are you busy? I said, I don't know, what do you need? <laughs> uh, he said, press this button with your tongue. All right, so how many buttons do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ready? Hi, <laughs> my name is Jill. <laughs> I have the kids and I work in the button factory. <laughs> One day, my boss says, Jill, are you busy? And I said, yes! <laughs> Whew, let's take a deep breath. And then out. <sighs> let's take another deep breath. And then out. <sighs> so Mr. Vinny from the Toe Jam Puppet Band uh, has a dance off going on right now to the song Green Light Go um, by the Toe Jam Puppet Band. So I thought we could dance off with him and I'm gonna send him the video and you can send your videos dancing off with him as well. So let's go over the colors. We've got red light stop, 
and we're not going to move. We've got yellow light, which means we're going to slow down our dancing. And then we've got our green lights, which means go, go, let's dance as fast as you can. All right, let's do this. Are you ready? All right. Slow down. I'm a jump Nice job, everybody. Phew. All right, so for our next song, we're going to do the robot dance. Remember, I am a robot. I am a robot, and I like to dance and clap and jump and spin and swim. All right, and Phoebe's going to help us out. Hello, good morning everyone. Hello, this is I Am A Robot by Kimberly Stewart. And I love this song. Do you ever like drive and then you see, you, you hear this song on the radio and you're like, oh my gosh, I love this song. It makes you so excited. That's like the song for me. I hope you like it. All right, let's try it. I am a robot. I am a robot. I am a robot and I like to dance. I am a robot. I am a robot. I am a robot and I like to dance and clap. I am a robot. I am a robot. I am a robot and I like to dance and clap and jump. I am a robot. 
I am a robot. I am a robot and I like to dance and clap and jump and spin. I am a robot. I am a robot. I am a robot and I like to dance and clap and jump and spin and run. I am a robot. I am a robot. I am a robot and I like to dance and clap and jump. And spin and run and swim. I am a robot. I am a robot. I am a robot and I like to dance and clap and jump and swim and run and swim and hop on one foot. Woo! Hop on one foot. I am a robot. I am a robot and I like to dance and clap and jump. And swim and run and swim and hop on one foot. I am a robot. I am a robot. I am a robot and I like to dance. I am a robot. I am a robot. I am a robot and my batteries are dead. All right, nice job. Thank you for playing with me. That was really fun and I hope you liked it too. All right, BB, you're getting too close to the screen. Hi! Hello, hello. This is like every bad Zoom meeting I've been on. Hello, can you see me? <laughs> Why don't you do peekaboo while you're there? Ready? Peekaboo, peekaboo. Peek Let's do a happy peekaboo. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, what is that, Big Boo? Ready? One, two, three, Big Boo! <laughs> oh, dry your eyes. <laughs> How about an angry Big Boo? Get our angry faces on. Mm. One, two, three, Big Boo! Big mm. Boo, Big Boo. Mm. How about a surprise Big Boo? Ready? One, two, three, <gasps> Big Boo! I see you. All right, BB, you want to say goodbye to everybody? Goodbye, friends. See you on Friday. Bye, BB. All right, everybody. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you on Friday. <laughs>